what's going on everyone welcome back to another video so i'm getting ready guys i am getting ready to head out to my first client of the day as a step of pairing for work i usually start my day off with grooming so got my brush here usually brush my hair and then top it off with a nice wooden comb the best to comb your beard all right it doesn't stress your beard and also the beautiful thing about wooden comb is it also keeps that natural body oil as well as uh any type of oil that you put in your beard there we go beard is all groomed up so when it comes to maintaining your beard your, your goal is to straighten your beard not damage your beard so if your comb is pulling a bunch of beard hairs switch your comb switch your comb to a wooden comb and you find out the wooden comb works out much more better it doesn't stress your beard out all right so I'm gonna remove this item here. All right. We have an aquarium, fish tank stand, TV stands, and glass. Then we got a couple of furniture pieces. Oh, yeah. And I believe you stated the grill too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we also got this grill out here. It also needs to be removed. Okay. Uh, this cupboard that needs to go. Tables. All right, we got mattress. That stand and these cabinets here. So these are the items that gotta go. All right. I was gonna say, which one you want to start on first? Hope we get. Also. Bring up some muscle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's get started. Uh, let's see. Anything inside here that we need to grab? Uh, for the most part, she's empty. So I could bring up the stand. Always bring your tools just in case for the unknown. Unknown. Oh no, I gotta get it out. <laughs> uh, tell me about it. That thing smells and it's just moisturized.
just drop it. So th these plants, are those poke salad? No, that's, um, those are called elephant ears. Elephant ears, okay, uh, wow, okay. Yeah, because they kind of have the uh, shape of, uh, you know, the poke salad. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they come to ship the car? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm going to um, Arizona. Arizona? Okay. Okay. What's your name we're going to do about the old school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buddy, uh, mine. He's originally from Arizona, so oh, yeah. He, yeah, he moved back down there from uh, from Baltimore. Oh, yeah, his, his daughter is down there, so he's like, you know, I gotta be with my family. But he yeah. told me he told me how the weather is really nice. He said the only thing you really gotta worry about is uh, the snakes. Um, right, the snakes and the scorpions. Yeah, the scorpions. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to just break these legs off? Yep. All right. Uh, really Alright guys, 20 minutes in, just record. Just broke the legs off with the table. Oh, oh, oh. 
it up now. I don't want to want to grab from that end. We gotta got a stack got it stacked up so uh yeah guys if you're looking for someone to come clean out your home you're moving uh you want to ensure that all of the items are removed uh, in a timely fashion please be sure to contact priority hall and drink removal and we will take care of you I'm on the top of the world. Top of the junk. Yeah. That thing's gonna break right through. Yeah. Whew. Oh, it's hot out here. Yeah. So, learn something new today. These plants are called elephant ears. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plants. Elephant ears. Goodness gracious, what the hell was that? Like? God damn it, You want to like it to fit inside? Uh, I mean, it'll fit on top, but it won't fit directly in. It'll definitely fit on top. The only problem is if we have it standing on top is you know it should become tilt but either way it should become it this way this way Problem is resolved. Let's catch these nails before she go anywhere. So guys, whenever it comes to these furniture, the furniture will usually always have nails. So we always do our best to ensure that we don't drop any nails on the ground. So that way when a client is on that property, they don't have to worry about, you know, a messy mess. All right, so now we gotta get the treadmill, put that here, grill here and uh, aquarium. All right, here's the update. We got the aquarium stand. Next, we're gonna get the TV stand, aquarium, and then we're gonna get this treadmill. And job will be all done. All right, guys, this is the last item. Last item in the basement, treadmill. We gotta take this treadmill here and uh, get her up these steps. And then from the steps, we got a nice tight bend to the right. And then another turn to the exit out the front door. So here we go. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the steps. Looking like we'll like we have to take the top off. Uh, then that way. Yeah, then we can maneuver it. So underneath it should be some screws. So let's just top. Yeah, let's just take the, this top off and go from there. All right, so we're just disassembling the treadmill. And once we get this disassembled, uh, we're gonna go outside and grab the 
smoker. It's got a smoker on a balcony and we'll be done. Whew. As you can see, it's hot. But, getting work done, baby. So, uh, if you guys got work, don't be afraid to give us a call. Alright guys, making progress. Got the tight steer away. Got the top off. Uh, the side. Which you say the arms. Or rails. That's been removed. Now we're removing uh, the bottom. Pads of... Uh, God, I totally forgot what the heck this thing is. Treadmill. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, job is done as far as the basement. Basement is cleared out. As you guys can see, got all the items removed from the basement. And as you come up the stairs, you can see we also removed the items from the kitchen. And also the liver. So now we just gotta get the grill. All right, guys, here we go. We got the smoker, char griller. Hmm, she ain't bad. She gotta get clean. Yeah, she definitely needs to be clean. But she ain't bad as far as the the grill material itself. She ain't bad, she ain't, she ain't rusted out yet. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and uh, throw this on the back of the truck and be good to go. All right, guys, I usually do a video of at the dump at the landfill, but if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And most and definitely important, if you are in the Baltimore, Maryland area or in the Maryland area in general, Please be sure to give me a call, contact message uh, about any type of junk removal. Uh, we also do parties. So if you got a party, picnic, uh, cookout going on and you need to have somebody to service your trash, please be sure to contact me and uh, we'll definitely uh, discuss what items that you need to have removed from your property, the dates, times, as well as the price. So uh, yeah. Let me get out the heat and I'll chit chat with you guys later. Peace.